If you're looking to invest in a metal roof, it's important to know where the product comes from, how it gets to your roof, and what each component is like. Today on Metal Roofing 101, we talk about the entire metal roofing process from start to finish so you can have the right expectations when you go into your purchase. Talk me through the components of a metal roof, like uh, flashings, details, um, the panels. What, what are they like? Sure. Your typical roof, and this isn't just metal roofing, your typical roof has what's called an underlayment underneath it. Um, that can be a number of different things that can vary, but essentially what goes over the deck is called an underlayment. Okay. Um, so the underlayment's going to go down, you, you know, typically in the flashing zones, that would be your hips, your ridges, your valleys, your sidewalls, you name it you're going to want a peel and stick. Those are going to be your biggest opportunities for water intrusion. And I say peel and stick by that, I mean an ice and water shield, um, you know, something rated for extremes, something that's going to last uh, the test of time and something that could essentially be weather tight, just being on the roof for itself, by itself for a period of time. Um, where you're mechanically attached underlayments, those allow for more breathability, um, but they're not going to be as weather tight. So how are metal roofing panels attached to the roof? Fastener flange system is typically a system that you fasten the actual panel. It's still a concealed fastener system, uh, but you fasten a, a lap underneath the male leg, mm -hmm. and on top of that, you'd put the uh, female leg, and that would engage really from panel to panel, and the attachment point is the row of fasteners that's concealed underneath the, what would that be, the male leg side of the panel. Um, when you get into a snap lock situation, you've got your typical clip. I don't have a snap lock clip, but you've got a clip and then you have fasteners. And so, you know, with our engineering, you know, most of our engineering for steel, for instance, is at two foot on center. You'd place the uh, panel down and you'd have the male leg exposed and then you'd put the clip over top of that and then you'd engage the adjacent panel's female leg to that. You know, so one clip every two feet, two fasteners at minimum per clip and then you're good to go on up the panel. With a mechanical lock, very similar to a uh, snap lock situation. And say the difference between a mechanical lock and the snap lock is the mechanical lock allows for you know, the expansion and contraction in the clip, where the snap lock, the panels kind of move freely on the clip, where the clip itself actually moves on a mechanical lock. Again, steel situation, our engineering, typically put your, your panel down, Put your clip on uh, the male leg and then you put the female leg of the adjacent panel over every two feet, two fasteners, every two feet, you know, a clip and there you go. Beyond that, a mechanical lock isn't done yet. A snap lock and a fastener flange are engaged. The mechanical lock still needs to be seamed. So beyond the clips, we indicate on all of our details you know, where you should be using a sealant. We endorse NovaFlex for all of our weather tight warranties or where you should be using a butyl tape. You know, a lot of time and energy and thought has gone into our components uh, or our overall system to help our customers create lasting systems for their customers. So before the panels are installed on the roof, where does the metal come from? Okay, well, we typically get our metals direct from a steel mill. You know, conversely, with aluminum, it comes from an aluminum line. From there, we, we send the metal to our uh, strategic partners who are our coating lines, and then we draw the metal in here to one of our Sheffield Metals locations. So let's take a step into the shop and kind of see what happens when the metal gets here and, and how it gets yeah, out. I'd love to show you guys the process. When the metal comes in, it comes to our facility. For a slit order, we'll take the coil out of the rack uh, or off the floor, put it onto the uh, uh, slitting line, take it off the decoy decoiler and set the machine up to slit the particular length that it needs to be slit at. We'll recoil it. Um, every order is considered quote unquote unique. You know, if there's sheets that go with that order, we'll put up a different coil um, or, you know, a partner coil that we can then put on our cut-to-length line. We level the, level the material, you know, get the flatness of the sheet that, you know, our customers require, uh, and then we produce that, and we can ship the sheet and coil together, like I said, typically in three to five days. So what happens with that sheet and coil? How does that get turned into panels? So from there, it's going to go to one of our customers that are typically going to be running a roll former. They may have a sheet metal shop. So they'll take that coil, run it through their roll former, and be able to form a, a panel out of there. You know, the flat sheets is mildly different. 
They'll take a flat sheet and then they'll put it into a typical break. Typically, our customer can then form it into the usable flashings that they need for a weather tight installation on you know, your typical residential or commercial project. There are a lot of variables that go into metal roof installation. Now, there's one thing that's for sure. Even when you get into cookie cutter scenarios, you, know, you might get into a set of you know, homes that are almost all identical. You still run into different scenarios. You know, the deck was installed differently in different areas. You come up against a head wall, a side wall. So it's not like shingles where you can just cut it and slap it down a little bit differently. Um, you really have to pay attention to the details to install it correctly and in a watertight fashion. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to hit the like button below, click on this button here to subscribe, and if you want to keep learning, click on this video here.